Welcome to the Ed Newsstand Podcast. This week, we are going to take a look again at the Kami web app. We've looked at Kami in the past, and just as a refresher, Kami is a web app that allows you to annotate on PDFs and integrates seamlessly with Google Classroom. But this week, we are going to talk specifically about the split and merge tool within Kami. Let's dive in. So to get started, you head to KamiApp.com. And when you get there, you're taken to their main screen. And as you can see, there's a description on their main screen. It calls Kami your digital classroom hero, the leading digital classroom app built to transform any existing document into an interactive learning experience. Millions of educators using Kami to improve engagement and collaboration while teaching in the classroom or online. So the first step to utilizing the split and merge tool is you go up to the top here and you click sign in and you're just going to sign in using your Google credentials. And I'm already signed into my browser so it automatically takes me to the sign in screen. Now we did cover Kami in uh, a little more in depth in our Kami app extension newsletter back on March 23rd. If you want to access that and the walkthrough video, you can head to my website ednewstand.weebly.com and check out the um, extension video and walkthrough for how to use Kami in your classroom. But for this example, we're just going to look at the split and merge tool. So there's a couple of things you can do. Now, if you find a file, let's try this first. If you have a if a PDF PDF opens in your browser and you see the PDF and you have the Kami extension installed in your browser, um, which is super easy to do. You just go to your browser and you search for Kami extension. And there it is, chrome.google.com, Kami extension PDF and um, document annotation. And you just click the add to Chrome button and it will install automatically. So if you have it installed in the PDF that shows up in your browser, you'll see a little K and you click on the little K. It says open with Kami. And, you, and then it will open the PDF in Kami. So from here, you can easily just do a split and merge with your document. So on the far right hand side next to your initials is the menu bar. It kind of looks like a little hamburger if you want to call it that. If you click the little hamburger, then right from this tool at the very top, you can do split and merge document. It will prepare the document for split merge and you just kind of wait until the uploading has completed and it should go fairly fast. Um, the PDF shouldn't be super huge and um, take too long for it to upload. So once it's done, you click continue to split and merge and the document will be right here and you choose um, the files already been loaded. If you want to add more files because you're merging more files together, you can certainly drag and drop more. But for our purposes here, we're just going to split this document apart. So as you can see, the document shows up on the top of the um, toolbar and you choose which files you want. Um, you have a few different choices underneath each page. You have the rotate um, to the right, you have rotate to the left, you have preview page, and you have trash the page. So if you want to preview the page, you just click preview and it'll bring up a preview of the image a little bit larger. For this purpose here, I'm just going to pull out the split and merge pages. So I'm going to pull out the top, the first page, the Kami handbook, and then um, I know that the split and merge page starts on page 15. So let's just preview to make sure. There it is, starts on page 15. And I know that it goes to page 19. So I'm just going to pull out pages 15 through 19 and I'm gonna be all done. And you can see here that you can also reorder the pages if you want to, um, but I wanna make sure to keep these in the specific order that Kami put them in their handbook. Now, once I'm done and I have the pages that I want, I'm gonna to choose to export this document. Now, you can decide how you wanna export. I can choose to export all. If I do that, I am given two options. I am given the option to download files and to download to Google Drive. And we're going to come back to that here in just a second. If I go down to the um, Kami handbook that I pulled out for the split and merge tools, under file name, I can change the name of this. So I'm going to call this Kami handbook and I'm going to call it split and merge. Then if I export this, I'm given three options now from this little toolbar. One of them is to download the file directly. So let's just try that. So if I click continue, it'll create the document. It says 
all done, rock on, and then you can download the file on the with the orange button. So you can see down here in my downloads bar that the Kami handbook has been downloaded. If I click export again, I can open in Kami. So let's just look at that option, open in Kami, click continue. So it'll say again, all done, rock on, open in Kami. So you can see now that we're in the Kami app itself. So I can have all the tools that I want, the markup tools, the text box, the drawing, the shapes, all of those things are available to me. And it's just the tool that I have. And from here, I can choose how I want to use this. I can share the document out. I can um, print the document. I can save the document either to Google Drive or I can download it again. Or I, again, there's an advanced export. So I, I can annotate this up and then I can download with annotations um, to my computer or to Google Drive. So a lot of choices with that. Um, and I can choose just to download the document itself. And again, those choices are, are right here. So a lot of great choices with your saving. Um, if you export it. So the last choice with regard to exporting was to Google Drive. So when you click the Google Drive button, you have to select the folder. You'll get the Google Drive box to pop up. I'm going to search for the Kami folder. And here I made one called Kami PDF. I choose Kami PDF and I'm going to select that. It says here I'm going to save to Google Drive and to the Kami PDF folder. I'm going to click continue. All done, successfully saved to my drive. So you can see there that it's already done and right put right in my Google Drive exactly or where I want it to be. Now the other option for exporting this Kami handbook is I can choose up at the top to export all. And again, I have the two options. I can download the file or Google Drive. And the same thing, I have to select the folder that I want it to go to, Kami PDF, select. You can see there that it's going to go there. But what I want to do here is I want to show you what happens if you download the files in the big export all button at, top, at the top. So I'm going to click continue. I get the all done choice, rock on. I'm going to download the file. Now you can see that it downloaded a zip file. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to extract the folder. So now if I open up this folder, what I get is I get the Hammy, Cami user handbook, which is the one that I pulled the pages out of, but I get it without the pages in it that I pulled out. So the um, beginning page there, the title page and pages 15 through 19 are all gone from this document. And I get the document that I actually created. So this is kind of a handy tool if you want to keep the original um, that you manipulated and changed um, to know to to utilize other pages in that. So you have a lot of choices for changing this around. You you get to keep your original um, PDF that you use to split up, but you can also then keep the new split up PDF and then the split up PDF that you created from the document. So that is how you utilize the Kami split tools. Now, let's go back and look at the merge tools here. So if I, again, click on split and merge. So I am going to pull um, out a couple of documents. I'm going to do the this one that I downloaded called the merge document. And I'm going to throw together the Kami uh, split and merge PDF that I just put together. So I'm going to merge these two together. So yeah, I've got my two documents. And if you um, select a bunch of documents and drag them all in at one time, you can certainly do that. You don't have to do them one at a time. You can do them all at the same time. And you'll just see them listed here at the bottom. So I'm going to click Next. And again, zips them all together. And I can rearrange these however I want. So I want the Kami Handbook at the beginning. And maybe I want this new document here at the end. Um, we'll put the first page at the beginning from the second merge PDF that I put in here. And then I've got all this stuff together. It's all done. I can choose to export. And again, the same choices come up. I can download the file. I can open in Kami. I can save to my Google Drive in a specific folder. Or I can choose to export all. But again, I don't have to. So what the merge tool will do for you is maybe if you throw a bunch of documents together, a bunch of PDFs together, you want to merge the documents together, as you can see in my top line. But maybe now this time I want the first page I want the second the first page from the second PDF and I want to put in a picture 
from the cam emergent split that we made earlier in the video. So now I've got this. I can choose to export this document. I can rename it. I can export all the documents like we did in the split tool. You have all kinds of choices here um, for utilizing with the split and merge tool. So as you can see, Kami, a very, very great program to utilize for uh, working with PDFs, whether you're using Google Classroom to send out documents to students or whether you have PDFs in your library that you are trying to um, create together to create assignments to push out to students in Google Classroom or maybe just documents that you want to share online or documents you want to share with other teachers um, or, or colleagues or other documents you want to create and share with your students. Thank you for tuning in this week. As always, you can find me on Twitter at Reynolds Troy. Find old episodes of the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. You can follow me on Instagram at Ed Newstand, and you can download my app to stay up to date with my content by scanning the QR code or by going to ednewsstand.glideapps.io and saving the app to your home screen. You can also find all the resources I just mentioned in my newsletter and watch the video I made on my website at ednewsstand.weebly.com. I'm Troy Reynolds. We'll see you next time on the Ed Newsstand Podcast.